Yes, um, about two and a half years ago, I promised uh, my my t many well my friends on Twitter. Um, I I promised them that I would show them the process. Um, that I uh, would uh, show them the process for what I call blue gold. Um, I won't be showing um, my own process for making um, soluble liquid gold. Um, a, a kindergartner can make soluble liquid gold um, that you order from um, whatever company. A kindergartner with the right equipment can make uh, at least a gallon of it pretty easy. Um, I also make enzymatic gold which is living gold and it's a different type of gold than um, just your um, um, soluble gold. I'm getting ready to show you um, the mixture. I, I've, I've cut it down to the last uh, step so that you can see that I'm adding uh, absorbic acid crystals with uh, liquid soluble gold um, and uh, this is what I use in preparation for uh, spirit painting. I'll show you my blue gold uh, uh, petroglyphic painting uh, and I finally completed it. Uh, to make the video short I will quickly show you uh, the <coughs> mixture, uh, what, the, what it looks like up close and then I'll show you the products being mixed together. It usually takes a little while. It could take up to maybe seven hours for the, for the blue to really kick in. Some people theorize that um, this mixture gathers ultraviolet um, energy, ultraviolet light, um, and that uh, the ultraviolet radiation, it works better in the sun if you let it sit in the sun for a while or th uh, that you let it uh, sit under a light. It, it begins to glow a blue color, an amethyst color, or a purple color. Um, and it starts to get more and more um, um, noticeable as time goes um, when you leave the uh, mixture in the light. So I'm going to show it to you. Let's turn the camera around here. As you can see, uh, I stirred it with the uh, tablespoon there. And uh, I'm going to get a close-up of it. Get it from the tent. It's uh, got a bluish tint to it. As you can see, I'm going to mix it up a little bit more. Move it on up a little bit closer, maybe you can see it better. So here it is. Get a real close up of it there. I don't know exactly how well you can see the tent. It's hard to notice sometimes, but I think you can kind of see that it's got a bluish tint to it. I'm not sure. I think you can. There you go. Just like that. So, once again, um, that's liquid, uh, that's liquid gold, and uh, I'm going to let that settle for a minute and then show you the painting, and then I'll take a, another close-up picture of the liquid um, as the crystal settle to the bottom of it. Uh, you'll be able to see the blue a little bit better. This is uh, what I took, the, the um, soluble gold and mixed it with uh, various paints, pigments, and uh, gemstones and I made this uh, what I call the blue gold uh, petroglyphic painting. Uh, um, this is uh, a painting that I'm really proud of as you can see the texture of it. It's a very beautiful texture. It's beautiful. Um, it's got petroglyphs. It's got uh, alchemical um, prepared paint uh, prepared through uh, chemistry and alchemy and this is really simple and fun stuff that a, a, a young child can even do so I, I think it's really neat um, and so here I'm showing it to you again this is for um, uh, what I do I'm sharing this with a twi uh, my Twitter friends I promised to years ago it's a long time after <laughs> and uh, Facebook the painting also has uh, paint is painted on the um, outside, uh, the um, the edges, and then it's got some uh, dimensional type um, work toward it on the inside. Now that I got that, I'm going to show you really quick. Um, I, I chose a product um, that was 
uh, soluble gold. There's a bunch of companies that make soluble gold. And like I told you before, if you can't find this stuff online, I'll show you the process that you can take a golden coin or some golden nugget or anything golden and um, through a couple of processes that are so simple. You can make about a gallon of that stuff. It, it, it's more potent than uh, than the stuff you find online so I wouldn't recommend taking it uh, as a supplement because of its potency. But it wouldn't hurt you though. But it's 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 quite a potent uh, mix if you if you make the um, um, what I call the um, the homemade um, um, soluble gold, and I also make enzymatic gold that I also will share with you Twitter. Uh, it's a it's what I call living gold, and it's an enzyme uh, process that causes the gold to uh, go into another state. Here is the type of uh, vitamin C crystals that I used, and you could use any type of vitamin C crystals, but they just have to be pure. This pure vitamin C crystals. I hope you um, enjoyed the share. Uh, I'm going to show you the gold again, then I'm going to show you the mixing of the two products, and uh, that will be all I'm going to do uh, for now. Here we go. Let's look at it again. We're going to stand back from it. Maybe you can see the tint of it a little bit better. Let's kind of move it from a different angle. It's got a bluish sky blue tint to it. And, uh, if you leave it in the sunlight long enough, it almost begins to glow. I found this um, this um, this out about uh, through an accident once, and uh, <laughs> like I said, um, this is basic uh, kindergarten <laughs> alchemy, uh, but it's fun and uh, it's spirit painting. Uh, let me um, let me get move this out of the way and I'm going to mix some more of this here in a second. Basically, what you're going to see me do here, I'm going to take one ounce of liquid soluble gold. I'm going to pour it right inside of here. You know, you kind of can see it pretty good right there. Now, there's a little bit of vitamin C left over in there, so you can kind of see it start to turn colors just a little bit. I'm going to pour some vitamin C in there, about a half a teaspoon. And I'm going to mix it. See that? It's got like a bluish looking color, a bluish looking tint to it. I don't know if you can, it might not be picking it up right now because it takes a while for the color to really kick in. But I'm going to turn really slowly with it. So you can see the tent of it. I want you to understand that the tent is what we're looking at there. Blue. And that's why I called it blue gold because of that tent that it had to it. And I won't be showing you that I mix it into the paint right now because I mean just take my word for it. That's what I do. Uh, I, I, I mix it into the paint and I make a uh, um, what I call spirit painting and the spirit painting was practiced by ancient nomadic peoples and tribes uh, they painted the symbols um, alchemical paint onto uh, a cave and stone um, natural formations uh, and um, that's about all that I'm going to uh, share it with this video uh, called blue gold I'll talk uh, to you again Twitter um, I love all my Twitter friends, uh, Facebook, I hope you enjoy, enjoy this too.